Mike here from the Wellness Bucket. So we're 22 days into the new year and I've already fallen way off track with uh, a few of my fitness or I should say wellness goals. And number one is my meditation goal. You know, I set out to meditate every day this year as closely to as every day as possible and I've fallen off big time. Um, a cold has gotten the best of me for the last, I don't know, 10 days maybe. So it's completely derailed me and maybe you can relate, maybe you've had some goals that you've been completely sidetracked you know, with and you're know, way off track. You know, maybe that's you, whether it's with weight loss, whether it's going to the gym consistently, whether it's you know, reading often, whatever it may be, maybe you're way off track and we're only three days, I mean three weeks into the new year. You know, and there's plenty of jokes you know, we see out there, you know, we, you know, we don't have to beat ourselves up about it because there's plenty of people who are ready to do that for us, you know, as far as, you know, oh yeah, you're not at the gym anymore, you're not doing what you said you'd do, you know, whatever, just do me a favor and do this to whenever you hear that because, you know what, look, we all fall off track, I, I have fallen off track, you have fallen off track perhaps, the question is, is this, should we even get back on track, and that's what we're asking today, should we even get back on track, so I'm going to ask you three questions, and it's questions I've asked myself as far as like, hey, why do I even want to get back on track? Should I even get back on track with the meditation game? You know, is that even something I want to consider doing? You know, especially if I've fallen off 22 days into it. So there's three questions I'm going to ask that you ask yourself, I've asked myself, as far as, hey, I'm off track from this goal I set, should I get back on it? Number one is, is the goal still important to you? Is the goal that you set, that you have fallen off track with, still important to you? And if it is, Ask yourself why, and the why is you should already have from the beginning of the year. You know, I always say if you're gonna have a goal, know why you want to achieve it. In mind, you know, you know, do I still want to maintain my goal of meditation? And, and yes, I do. And why? Because I want more clarity, more peace of mind, more calmness, more you know, ability to battle stress more, you know, and anxiety more so. And meditation has proven, you know, studies after study prove that it does have that effect on the body. So yes. I definitely still want to you know, maintain that goal and those are my why. So number one, I do want to get back on track and I will. So that's the question number one, you know, do I still want to you know, chase this goal and if so, why? So ask yourself that with you, if it's weight loss, if it's going to the gym, is that still important to you? You know, three weeks into the new year and if it is, you know, then you know, bam, you're back on it. You know, you're back on trying to get back on that track. Number two is, um, you know, what are you going to do about it? So I have fallen way off track, so what am I going to do about it? What I'm going to do about it is commit to it. Even if I fell, it doesn't matter if we fall. Fall 20 times, get up 21. Fall 100, get up 101 times. It doesn't matter how many times we get knocked down, how many times we're going to stand back up. So if it's two, is what are you going to do about it? And it's like, oh, I'm going to wait till next year to restart. No, that's a crazy goal. Or let me wait till next month. Why? Today's another day. We have like nine more days left this month or 10. Let's make it, you know, take advantage of all of them. So what I'm going to do is just get right back on the horse and start meditating it's ASAP. I might be in it for three days and fall off, it doesn't matter. Like I said, fall 10, get up 11, whatever, keep going. That's what I'm gonna do about it. I'm gonna continue, I'm gonna be relentless and chase it and go after it every day. So what are you gonna do about it? If you have fallen off track, what are you gonna do about it? Whatever goal it may be. Maybe it's like, hey, you know what, I'm gonna try going to a gym at a different time, or I'm gonna try calling a buddy, you know, maybe working out with them. Or you know what, I'm gonna try reading at this time during the day versus that time. Question is, what are you gonna, number two, if, if it is still important to you, what are you going to do about it? And lastly, number three, this is a biggie, and this is the perfect time to do it. Ask yourself, do I have a limiting belief around this goal that I'm about to you know, strive for? Mine with meditation is always like, you know, I just can't do this, man. Meditation is just not my thing. I can't do it. You know, that's a bunch of hogwash. That's a bunch of BS, and it's not true. It's just the story I keep telling myself. It's not for me. It's hard to do. My mind can't relax. All nonsense stories. So I'm going to identify the fact that my limiting belief is it's just too tough for me. My mind can't relax. It's bull crap. It's because I haven't given myself enough of a chance to really master it, to get it down, to do it consistently over and over. What is that limiting belief for you? Identify it. You know, whatever it may be. All right, you know, every time I go start going to the gym, I fall off track. Or every time I lose five pounds, I gain it right back. What's that limiting belief? Identify it and squash it. And the only way we squash it is by replacing it with a new empowering run. So for me, instead of saying, I can't meditate, my mind's too wild and I can't relax, it's going to be, you know what? My mind just needs to do it consistently and when it does, I'm gonna be in that zone, I'm gonna get it done consistently, day in, day out. So let's replace, let's identify, number three, identify what that limiting belief may be for you and replace it with a powerful, encouraging, empowering belief going forward. So those are the three questions, guys, I ask that you ask. You know, whatever goal, whatever goal you might have fallen off track with, 
or maybe even if you fall off track in the next couple of weeks, whatever it may be, ask yourself those three questions. You know, is this goal still important to me? And if so, why? That's number one. Number two, what am I gonna do about it if I, if I have fallen off track? And number three, um, you know, what limiting belief might be holding me back? Identify those three, ask those three questions, and I think we'll be well on our way to get back on track and nailing that goal for 2017. All right, guys, that's today's message. I hope it helps. If I can help you in any way getting back on track, reach out to me anytime. It's Mike at the wellnessbucket.com. Until next week, you're awesome. Cheers.